to my channel War Paint. I'm Tara Michelle and what is on my lips girl you're gonna have to find out in the description box hopefully I posted the video I'm wearing an ombre lip I did a tutorial on a quick easy ombre lip and I talk about all the products within that video so if you want to go check it out it's in the description box or it's coming next it'll be my next posted video so I skipped a video um, unless I posted that one because I did a haul video and I, I had recorded like really close with the pink background I don't know if you guys remember it was like my one of my last videos and I did a huge haul video and I recorded it like that so if you guys want to see it and you don't mind me being like super duper close let me know and I'll go ahead and edit it and upload it but anyway so if you want to know what's on my lips girl it's in the video down below go check it out so I wanted to talk to you guys I wanted to make a video I feel like I haven't made one of these videos um, ever and I use affordable products every day that really truly work and I wanted to talk to you guys about them just because I feel like I talk about them in my videos but I've never grouped them all together and been like hey you guys this is this is affordable stuff like let's put it all together as a group now I'm not gonna do every single product I think is affordable in this video I'm just gonna do a selected few today and then maybe if you guys like this type of video I'll continue to do it and talk about affordable products products I use. So one of the ones that is on my face today is these Cocoa Lashes. Um, I really, really like these. These are $6.99. This is the Queen Bee style. Um, the reason I like them is because they are super duper comfortable. Now I also like Ardell Lashes from the drugstore, but I don't find that the band is super comfortable. Literally, I put these on and I plan on keeping them on. It's 1 p.m. and I've had them on for two hours and I plan on keeping them on until 11 p.m. tonight. Like I don't plan on taking them off and they're going to stay and I'm going to be comfortable in them. Um, you do have to trim them down. They're handmade. Um, when you get them they're going to be really long unless you have super duper long eyes. And then they, the lashes themselves are pretty long. They literally touch my brows. So I trim them a little bit. You have to be careful to maintain the shape. But one reason I really like them is because I have hooded lids and I'm always creating creases and making shadows and using a bunch of shadows to create what's not there on my lids. And these are so long that literally I don't have to do an eye look. I have nothing on my lids today <laughs> and I have an inner corner color and that is it. So it's really simple and this is the kind of like eye look I do when I do like a statement lip like the one I'm wearing. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about that and to go along with it, um, glue that is just really obtainable, you don't have to order it online, um, for your lashes, the dual lash um, adhesive duo eyelash adhesive. I really like this one. I actually like it better in the dark formulation. However, it's not the best. I think that, you know, Makeup Forever makes a really good one. Now that one is like, if you're going to wear your lashes for 24 hours, that one is amazing for that. I haven't tried the House of Lashes one yet either, but this one is really easy to get at the drugstore. It smells terrible. It smells like dead fish, but it works really, really well. And I use it all the time. So, um, another thing that I wanted to talk about that is from the drugstore. So, I want to get the drugstore ones out of the way and then ones you have to kind of order. So, you have to order the Cocoa Lashes, obviously. And then I also recommend the House of Lashes. Those are about $10 and they're really, really comfortable as well. Um, so, let's talk about what you can get in the drugstore. This is something I've been trying. I don't have a video on it yet. If you guys want a dedicated video... Um, let me know. I feel like there's a ton of them already out there and people have been raving about it, but it is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I'm in the shade um, 05 Warm Beige when I have my tan completely on. It's kind of wearing down right now, so I'm not actually wearing this foundation today. I just want to be honest. I'm wearing, what am I wearing? I'm wearing Estee Lauder Double Wear today. This foundation, I thought at the beginning, broke me out. And then after my breakout happened, I waited a week and then I tested it again and I'm not breaking out because of this foundation. It's not the foundation, it was just hormones or something. Um, but I wanted to be 100% sure. I use this foundation with a beauty blender. It is a full coverage foundation. It does not oxidize and it lasts, you guys. It's so good. I do use a concealer, a concealer with it, but I'm thinking that they're basically saying like, hey, this is going to cover things that concealers cover like redness, discoloration, anything like that, just hyperpigmentation, brown spots, all of that. This is a really good foundation. I found it at Rite Aid, Rite Aid or no, CVS for I think $10.99. I really recommend it you guys. It's really, really good and it's an amazing packaging. Okay, it's in a glass jar and it has a pump. So it's the perfect, so far my favorite drugstore foundation I think 
right now. I mean, I haven't tried anything better, I don't think. And I was really about the Rimmel 26 hour foundation last summer, but I really think Milani has stepped it up and has made a really, really good foundation. So I definitely recommend it. And I think it's good for all skin types. I have dry skin and even though it's full coverage, it doesn't make it more dry or cakey or anything like that. So another thing um, that I get at the drugstore, and this is all I use, you guys. I used to use setting sprays. I used to use MAC Fix Plus all the time. I used to use Urban Decay's um, D Slick Setting Spray when I had oily skin. I used the Chill when I didn't have oily skin. And now I just use literally the Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. So this is his Rose Water Spray. It's so amazing. This is all I use to set my makeup, and my makeup lasts all day. And if it didn't last all day, I would be using the setting sprays, but I quit. I quit using them. Um, one other setting spray that I use is the Tatcha setting spray, but that's just to add like a dewy effect. And I usually do that before filming or if I'm really going in on a dewy look. Um, but otherwise, I just use the Mario Badescu. It's amazing. It's $7, you guys. You cannot beat it. You get four fluid ounces. It's really good, and that's all I use to set my makeup, and then I'll spray my face throughout the day just to spray it because it smells really good, it's really hydrating, and it just feels good on my dry skin, and I don't set my makeup with anything else. Um, so one thing that I've talked about over and over and over, and if you guys aren't getting it, you're going to just, you have to get it when I talk about it this last time. Um, it is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This concealer is the most amazing concealer that I found for the price point. Um, I don't have a concealer that I recommend that's even over the price point of this, which is $14. Um, and I really, really like it. It's super comfortable. I have um, fine lines under my eyes. It doesn't crease inside of those. I can set it. Everything works beautifully. I'm in the, I have the wrong shade right now. I need a darker shade, but every time I go to Sephora, they're sold out. I need to order it. But I'm in 03, and I do have it on today. It's super, super brightening. Super super lovely so I really enjoy that and then I wanted to share with you one more thing that I found in that was inside Ulta but I got it from Mimi Box I have a Mimi Box link down below this is the um oh what is the brand oh my gosh I'll put it on the screen oh Tony Moly it's the brightening eye base okay look how cute this little dude is first of all this is a white base you put under your eyes before any other eye product um unless you put your eye cream on it does not come off white but it literally just brightens from underneath your skin it's kind of an amazing amazing product and it's really inexpensive and I have it linked below so I highly recommend it I found it at Ulta but I did get it off Mimi Box's website um so I found it at Ulta um in the section where you go to check out and it's really really good you guys so the last thing I wanted or the last I have two things to talk about um so I've gone through a lot of facial cleansers I was really into purity for the longest time but since I've been wearing makeup since I've been 15 and I'm almost something else which I don't want to talk about how old I almost am <laughs> um, I've been using this and this is the Neutrogena fresh foaming cleanser this takes off all of my makeup it cleanses my skin it doesn't cause me to break out it doesn't cause any anything bad for my skin like it's always been good for my skin I always buy it I feel like I'm always buying it though you get 6.7 fluid ounces but it's five dollars you guys so it's well worth your money I do use more than this than like the purity um purity is more concentrated those are the two I like I like this one and I like purity but all the time I'm getting this one I'm not getting purity all the time because it's what eighteen dollars um you get that I, I get the gel purity as well um the makeup removing one but I really really like this and even when I'm not wearing makeup I still use it and it gets all of all of most of my makeup off all of most of my makeup that doesn't even make any sense but like if I leave any in my hairline that's because I didn't clean well and I also use this with my Clarisonic Mia too and I, I really really like it so the last thing I wanted to talk about is a hyped up hyped up product you guys and I was like I gotta try it because everybody keeps talking about it and it's supposedly going to replace my favorite all-time powder for setting my face. So I was like, I've got to get this as soon as I can find it. This is a product that is consistently sold out. So um, I once I saw that it wasn't sold out on a website, I jumped on it and I bought it. And I got the um, RCMA No Color Powder. This is a setting powder that's supposed to be um just on the same level as Laura Mercier's translucent powder or even better I would say it is better and this is the reasoning because I used to use the Laura Mercier 
translucent setting powder under my eyes and it would make them really dry looking and it would cast a color under my eyes versus letting the concealer, if I use a brightening concealer, stay that color. It would literally put a color on my eyes, a tan color, and it would make them go uh, and just like tighten up and be wrinkly and cakey. This powder is insanely good. It's so finely milled. I could put 10 pounds of it on my face and it would look like my foundation still just set so if you're really really satisfied with the way your foundation looks and you don't want it to change and you don't want it to move and if you want it to stay dewy and if you want it to stay matte this powder is not going to change that whatsoever it is really amazing now I feel like I really use a lot of it I don't know if it's because I'm like obsessed with it or what but I've only had it like a week and a half to two weeks and I've used a lot of it um, but it comes in big packages so this three ounce uh, container was $12 and it's insane that it's only $12 so this is like a, a secret and it's not a secret because everybody knows about it now but literally like they better not change the price it's so 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 good and it is a hyped up product so worth all of the hype because it is amazing um, you can literally just pack this on and it's not gonna move your makeup but it's going to set everything perfectly and and it's just so good I just don't know what else to say about it like I just want to put it all over my face it makes your skin velvety <sighs> it's amazing like literally right now right here right now I could throw away my Laura Mercier translucent powder and not care I won't do that I may take it back to Sephora but I literally could throw it away and not give a care and not miss it because this is all I need in my life and that is how I feel about it and that's insane because I've been using the Laura Mercier setting powder for years. Hey you guys, that does it for my affordable um, products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want more, like it. Leave it in the comments below and letting me know. Um, let me know in the comments as well, like one of your number one affordable product you use on a daily basis because I would like to know what it is. And it doesn't have to be drugstore, as you can see. Some of these you have to order. And I forgot to mention, you have to order this powder. So like if I can find it and it's not sold out, I'll link it below um, where you can get your hands on it. But it's so, so, so good, you guys. I just, can I say more about that? I don't think so. All right, you guys, I will see you really soon in my next video. If this lip tutorial isn't up yet, it's going to be up next. So be on the lookout for that. And don't forget to sh show me. Don't forget to show me. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media is what I was trying to say. It is all linked below and I will see you real soon in my next video. Bye.